Blistering Stevens' ton sets up first Kent win. It wouldn't be a round of the LV County Championship action without Darren Stevens in the headlines. He led Kent to a lead of 333 with a quick fire 50 after Leicestershire had crumbled to 109 all out. With two days left to play, the Foxes are in need of a miracle to drag themselves back into the game. And Stevens returned to the middle in typical bombastic style, freeing his arms in a relentless assault on the Foxes' bowlers. Sixes raining down on Leicester first to take the 10th wicket partnership to 50, and soon after, he sealed a lightning 100 off just 67 balls with a slashed 4. Yet another exceptional innings to add to his huge collection. He no doubt would have gone further, but lost his partner and Kent's final wicket. Logan bowled for 4, Kent's lead a huge 385 runs. It had been his innings really, decent starts from the Kent top order, but the all-rounder, helped by Leicestershire's paltry first innings total, had taken total control of the match with his blistering knock of 107 from 70. Parkinson's Pfeiffer had been well deserved, but looked to be in vain. Kent wouldn't have to wait long to pick up their first wicket, Sam Evans out in the first over to Matt Milnes, LBW for one. It was inevitable that Stevens would contribute with the ball too, Azad, his man, out LBW for a duck. The score was still in single figures when Ackerman followed, out to Milnes for two. And he kept going, Kimber his next victim, bowled by way of an inside edge for four. The saying goes in cricket, there are two types of leave, and Swindles demonstrated one of them to depart for Milnes fourth, out for a duck. And he didn't have long to wait for his fifer, a sixth wicket tumbling before the break, he'll out caught down the leg side by Billings. That left Leicestershire 20 for 6 at lunch, Kent now almost certain to end their winless campaign. Mike and Parkinson put on a defiant display after lunch and refused to be intimidated, Kent's success with the ball drying up. They put on 50 for the seventh wicket, Mike the aggressor, Parkinson happy to hold down an end. The aggressive approach from Mike paid dividends, boundaries coming thick and fast from his blade as he found and cleared the ropes. He reached his 50 in fitting style. Logan launched back over his own head for four. The half century chalked up in 38 balls. His partner departed. Parkinson out caught trying to take a leaf out of his colleague's book. And finally, with a power ridden 70 or 52, Logan got the better of Mike, out looking for more courtesy of a great running catch by Jack Leaning. Just two more then for Kent to take for that elusive win, but Barnes and Wright weren't about to let them just stroll their way there. They were following in Mike's footsteps, some figures ripe for ruining. Their partnership got as far as 33 when Wright was out via a top edge off Barnes, his frustration clear to see. The last pair had nothing to lose, some big shots reduced the deficit below 200, and Barnes cashed in, 50 runs scored off 54 balls. They were having real fun, the partnership up to 92 when Kent sealed the win. Davis caught behind for 42, a big moment for Kent, their first win of the LV County Championship worth the long wait. It's not often that a six wicket haul goes under the radar, but it was another match dominated by the Kent Titan Darren Stevens. He'll be back in action when Kent take on Worcestershire on Sunday, while Leicestershire will hope for better away in Derby.